already. And hey everybody, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. Today we've got something really fun. I got a puzzle. It's called a pagoda puzzle and it's difficulty level five. And if you aren't familiar with these kind of puzzles, they're uh, metal or wooden puzzles that you have to try to take apart and put back together all as a part of uh, the challenge. Now, if you're new to the channel, first of all, welcome. And second of all, I do a lot of puzzles and I do a lot of photography and video type. Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to the video. Today, we've got a really fun puzzle. We've got a Pagoda puzzle, difficulty level five, and I believe that's the most challenging puzzle uh, difficulty that we can get. And I've got this for Christmas and I'm been waiting and waiting to get a day where I can um, get a hold of it and solve it if you aren't familiar with how these puzzles work, um, you have to take them apart and each puzzle has its own uh, solution, so they're all different. And if you guys are new around here, be sure to hit the subscribe button as there's a large percent of you that aren't subscribed who watch my videos. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the puzzle. All right, so let's go ahead and dive in the pagoda puzzle. Goal, turn the layers and tilt the pagoda to move the colored balls until each column of the balls are in the same order. Okay, so this one is a little bit different. We're gonna have to line all those up. This is gonna be fun. Okay, so let's go ahead and take it out of the box. Oh, there's a little ball on the top. Let's do it this way. And boom, there it is. All right, so first things first, It twists like crazy and I think that's the point. I think I'm supposed to be able to get all of the puzzles lined up together. Now here's all the brown lined up together. I know that's different. There's little bits of red and I don't know if you can see that but this puzzle twists like crazy so I'm supposed to get all the colored balls in the same pattern. So let's go ahead and start a timer. Okay and go. Okay, so we have this red ball on top. I think that's just there for decoration. Um, so there's these little almost red looking balls and then these more brown and then there's a bunch of blue and there's this little hole at the bottom and I'm not really sure. Okay, so that spins the top layer. Why would I need to spin? Whoa. Okay, maybe I need to set this puzzle down. Wait, because now it doesn't, it doesn't. Okay, so these two are connected. These two puzzles are connected right here. And then this only spins a little bit, but the in-between layer, that spins a little bit. And then this is like, this one spins freely. Okay, so let's start somewhere. Okay, so we have these first two, except there's not a ball here. And there's two up here. Wait, what? Okay. So we somehow have to drop a ball down to the bottom, maybe? Now is there a hole somewhere? Oh, now there's a there's a purple ball in this little hole. Um, how did I do that? Is there a hole in the wood somewhere? If I turn this upside down. Okay, there we go, look. So now I have an orange one here. And I need orange on the right and purple here. So if I do, does that not drop? Okay, so wait, so there's a purple here. Here we go, there's a hole in this wood. I don't know if you guys can see that in here, but if I turn this upside down, there it goes. That locks that. Okay, so now I have purple, orange, green, brown, other brown, blue. Okay, so these first two are done. So it looks like there's holes in these pieces right here. And I have to twist these and drop them into place but in the correct order. So I can't let these drop. So there's holes, I think, in the corner. So I need to make sure these stay aligned. And who knows if I did this right. Okay, so that's green. I think this one was already okay. Just like that. And then I twist this so there's no hole. Twist that there. I think that's okay. Oh, we're moving along quickly. We might beat this puzzle right away. There we go. Line this up here. 
Okay, we're on the right track. It looks like we might actually get it right away. It was just that quick, oh, nope. Here we go, this is a problem. Okay, so we need, we have two of the same color here and we don't have a blue. There's a blue up here. Where's my other blue? Is there another blue at the bottom here? Is there? Hmm. Okay, so we have like the first five layers done. But I'm missing a blue piece. Hmm. So this spins independently. There's a blue there. And... Oh, wait, there we go. Well, that's those colors. And then this, like that, right? But now I'm confused. Okay, so we have every single color correct, except that ball is brown. This pocket seems to be empty. And I don't believe there's anything in the top layer. Because if I look up under here, there's no hole. Do I have a puzzle that has the wrong color ball? Or am I just not doing it right? Because so I can drop the blues all around. So maybe if I can somehow get the brown out and then have everything but blue and maybe put the extra brown at the bottom and that would count technically because it wouldn't be in the same row. But it's at the top. I don't know how I'm going to get it out. I have an idea. So if I go ahead and close off this, isolate this here, I can maybe drop one of these extra brown balls down there, which means I have to undo what I just, okay. I have to, <laughs> I have to undo what I just did here and drop all of these blue here to get, where's the, where is it? There it is. And then I have to get this blue out. Like. Okay, where's the... I have to look up under this. There we go. Okay, so now we have all the blue back in their row. So let's go ahead and drop one of these, because that's the same color. Let's drop one of these brown out of the way, so it's not in the tower. And then close that off. And then let's drop one of these brown ones here and then close that off and then we'll open up this one close that off and we'll just slowly drop slowly drop this there we go oh my timer turned off there we go. So drop it like that. And then, oh, that's not the right color. Um, I need to turn it, this whole chunk up. There we go. And then, okay, so this one's here. So I need to drop this guy down. Like that. Okay. So now I have brown everywhere 
blue is here and I still have the brown here. I think that's the solution is dropping with the extra brown ball. But it is weird that it's missing like an extra, like I feel like there should be a blue, but I think maybe if they were all full, then you wouldn't be able to move. Right? Like you wouldn't be able to move anything if they were all full. Real quick, I'm gonna jump into the video real quick. I think my pagoda doesn't have the right colored ball. I was looking it up online and I saw that somebody was solving it and they have all the colored balls in the correct area. They were all full, unlike mine where I'm missing a blue ball here. And uh, they didn't have an extra ball on the bottom. So I think my pagoda came with an extra brown ball instead of a blue ball. But anyways, I've solved mine in my own way. So it's still technically correct. I just have an extra ball in the bottom. So, I mean, it is what it is, but you know, that's totally fine. I still enjoyed solving it and it still looks really cool on the shelf. So anyways, back to the video. Okay, so let's go ahead and drop the extra brown ball here. Um, actually, oh wait, maybe. No, I need to do this. I need to keep this one here. Keep this one here. And then drop this blue one. This, well, quote, blue. The blue brown here. So then whenever I put it back, there. Now is that is that it? Did I did I win? Because technically there's all blue and an empty space. And then all the brown are still lined up. The red, the green, the pink. And I don't see another ball. I think that's it. Right? Where's the box? Let's look at the box. Okay. So early civilization shaped our world by solving puzzles. Faced with problem, they were able to visualize and execute a creative solution with few resources. These brilliant innovations are the foundations of our modern society and mark of true genius. It just, I mean, the only goal that I get is turn the layers and tilt the goda to move the colored balls until each column of the balls is the same color. And I do believe I did that. So, I need to unlock my iPhone. So we can go ahead and stop the timer because I have brown, red, green, pink, orange, and blue. And if we wanna to climb to the top of the tower, we can drop it like that. And then we have all of it. So I will call that a success. So we have 12 minutes and 55, there we go. Focus, focus, focus. Never mind. 12 minutes and 55 seconds. Not too shabby for a difficulty five puzzle. That actually wasn't too bad and it may have been closely to the right solution. So if you guys want to see me do this puzzle again where I purposely mix it up or maybe have somebody else mix it up for me and we try it again and try to get it to this exact solution, let me know in the comments down below. If you guys see, have any other puzzles that you want me to solve, or if you want to see some other videos, let me know in the comments as well. I'll leave a link to this puzzle in the description. It was super fun. It wasn't very challenging for me, but maybe that's because if I have some puzzle experience, um, but you guys definitely, uh, I'll leave a link in the description. Go ahead and check it out. And uh, you guys can get one, one of these for yourself. It's pretty cool. Hope you guys enjoyed this kind of video. I wanted to get back to my puzzling roots. And if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. And if you aren't subscribed, please do subscribe. It means a lot. And we're getting really close to 20K. We're already at 15,000, which is so awesome. And we'll be doing something special at 20K. And uh, it's gonna be a good video. I'm looking forward to that. I'm also gonna start introducing some more production side because I'm trying to make my production value a lot higher than it used to be. So I'm shooting on two different cameras as you saw today. I'm shooting with the Rebel T6i for my face cam and my Sony a7 II, which is right here. Hi. For my desk display, I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Put a lot of work and effort into this video. So if you guys wanna see some more behind the scenes videos of how to do production style stuff, I work in Adobe so I can teach you guys. I can do some tutorial stuff where I, I can teach you how to do color grading. I can teach you how to do your setup, how to do some lighting effects. Like I have some lighting here. If you guys are interested in learning some behind the scenes production value stuff, please let me know in the comments down below. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.